Hello, welcome to our YouTube channel. For today's video, we will talk about sickness in rabbits. Rabbits are popular pets that can bring joy and companionship to their owners. However, like any animal, they can experience sickness and health problems. As a responsible pet owner, it is important to be aware of the common illnesses that rabbits can develop and how to prevent and treat them. In this context, this topic is crucial for any rabbit owner or anyone who is considering adopting a rabbit. Understanding the signs and symptoms of common illnesses can help pet owners take timely action and provide appropriate care for their furry friends. Why do rabbits get sick? Like most pets, there are a number of reasons that rabbits get sick. They can be exposed to germs, eat something that causes sickness, be genetically predisposed to a condition, or other reasons. Because of their status at the low end of the food chain, rabbits typically hide signs of illness. Showing weakness puts them at risk of becoming prey. Of course, your pet probably isn't at risk of being eaten, but you still have to carefully observe it to catch early signs of sickness. Some common signs of illness include Lowered energy and appetite Rabbits show two significant signs of illness, decreased energy, or lethargy, and decreased appetite for both food and water. One, These are vague symptoms and can indicate any number of illnesses. Keep track of your rabbit's food and water consumption as it provides a quick way to spot if your pet is having health issues. Missing or excessive stools Rabbit gastrointestinal stasis, RGIS, is a common rabbit illness sign that occurs when the animal stops eating. This slows everything in the digestive system down and the bunny stops dropping stools. GI stasis might be a result of an inadequate appetite, like a lack of fiber, dental issues, or a secondary problem such as liver disease or cancer. Diarrhea or loose stools can be a sign of trouble, too, indicating a potential parasitic or bacterial disease. Poor grooming habits. Bunnies are known for keeping themselves clean. Therefore, any signs that the rabbit hasn't been cleaning itself, such as fecal matter staining paws or matted fur, is a sign the rabbit is unwell. Drooling, Slobby or missing hair on the creature's hair and neck are also all indicators of illness, potentially dental disease. Additionally, dandruff, overall fur loss, or a scaly coat can be a sign of an infection that could be contagious to other animals or even humans, such as in the case of the walking dandruff mite, Chilatella parasitavorax. Cold symptoms. Rabbits can only breathe through their noses, so an upper respiratory tract disease is a serious health problem. If it looks like your rabbit is suffering from a cold with symptoms like nasal discharge, sneezing, coughing, breathing problems, including open mouth breathing, it needs to be seen by a vet ASAP. Head tilt. If your bunny's head is listing to one side, the eye on that side seems to be having issues, or the rabbit has poor coordination, it could be suffering from a sudden onset of head tilt, a dysfunction of the system that controls the rabbit's balance. Nourish your pet from the inside out with wild Alaskan salmon oil. Sourced from the wild, pristine waters of Alaska, our oil is packed with essential omega-3 fatty acids that promote a shiny coat, support joint health, and boost the immune system. Give your furry friend the gift of optimal health and vitality with wild Alaskan salmon oil. Go to bemixpets.com and get 22% off. Treatment The treatment that a vet will prescribe will depend on the condition that the rabbit has. While you seek treatment, try to keep your rabbit hydrated and warm. A syringe with water or soft foods, applesauce or baby food, can assist. Depending on the condition, your vet may prescribe prescription medication to help your rabbit's condition. Illness can happen quickly with rabbits so make sure you have a vet that treats rabbits. Like other pets, rabbits should visit a vet at least once a year until age 4, when the visit should be scheduled for every 6 months. A vet has specialty knowledge that can catch rabbit illness signs before they blossom into a bigger health issue. How to prevent illnesses It's not entirely possible to prevent illnesses in rabbits. Practicing prevention will help. Feed them a healthy diet, provide a clean and loving environment, and take care to avoid extreme temperatures. Touching their bodies is just as important as monitoring their behavior for any illnesses. Your hands will let you know about any changes in body condition, and you'll spot lumps or injuries early. It's not as time-consuming as you might think. Rabbits will quickly adapt to physical attention and you'll get used to tending to them. In conclusion, rabbits can experience various illnesses such as GI stasis and pastrolosis. It is important to regularly monitor their behavior and health, and to take them to a veterinarian if any concerning symptoms arise. Additionally, providing a healthy and balanced diet, clean living conditions, and regular exercise can help prevent and manage illnesses in rabbits. Thank you for watching today's video. Please like, share and subscribe for more informative content about diabetes and nutrition. Stay healthy and take care.